Choosing the right plants for a closed terrarium is extremely crucial for its long-term success. There are several tropical moisture-loving plants that work well. Today I have a list of the 15 most compatible terrestrial plants for your closed terrariums and we are starting right now. First on the list is Selaginella. It is often referred to as spike moss and is mostly found in the tropical regions of the world. These moisture-loving plants typically have small, scale-like leaves arranged in a distinctive two-ranked pattern along their stems, giving them a delicate and feathery appearance. Species like Selaginella ancinata, Selaginella crociana and Selaginella erythropus are very popular for their attractive foliage and low maintenance requirements. The tiny leaf structure makes it a perfect candidate for nano builds where match to scale plays a vital role. These plants are easily grown from cuttings and can be used as a foreground or midground plant. Pelionia repens, often referred to as the watermelon begonia or rainbow vine, has become the plant of choice for closed terrariums. Native to Southeast Asia, this plant is admired for its striking leaves, which are typically small, oval shaped, and range in color from vibrant greens to deep purples and reds. This low demand plant enjoys a humid environment and is one of the hardiest plants in my experience with a failure rate of almost zero. I have a dedicated video on Pelionia repens and I will leave a link in the description if you would like to go and check it out. The plant can be placed in the foreground or midground inside a terrarium and will lift up any dull spot within the scape. Fetonia is native to the tropical rainforests of South America and is primarily found in Peru and the surrounding regions. The leaves are generally small, elliptical and feature a network of contrasting veins, often in shades of white, pink or red, against a backdrop of deep green. The Fetonia is also known as the nerve plant, due to the resemblance of its leaves to a network of veins. This plant demands higher humidity levels which mimics its natural rainforest habitat. This makes it an ideal close terrarium plant. Fetonias can be planted as stem cuttings in a terrarium and will root itself in no time. Fetonias are usually planted in the midground to add a pop of color to the overall design. Ferns are a group of epiphytic plants that mostly grow in tropical climates. They are characterized by their feather-like fronds which can be finely divided or leathery depending on the species. Ferns are non-flowering plants and reproduce via spores typically found on the undersides of their fronds. The world of ferns is incredibly diverse with thousands of species. Some of the common varieties are green fantasy fern, Boston fern, Dallas fern and rabbit's foot fern. All of these can be grown successfully in terrariums and vivariums. Ferns are a popular choice among terrarium hobbyists due to their love for humidity and low light conditions. They are mostly used as a background plant and can fill up the space gracefully providing a lush backdrop. They are mostly propagated through runners and rhizome segment cuttings. Ficus pumila, commonly known as creeping fig, is native to East Asia. The dwarf variety is known as Ficus pumila minima and is a very good choice for smaller builds. The most striking feature of Ficus pumila is its lush heart-shaped foliage. The small leathery leaves are typically dark green and grow densely along trailing stems. It is a low demand plant and can be easily planted as a cutting inside a terrarium, be it in the foreground or as a climbing plant on hardscape or a moss wall in the background. Pilea involucrata, commonly known as the friendship plant, hails from the tropical rainforests of South and Central America. The leaves are small, round and feature deeply corrugated or textured patterns in contrasting bronze and silver color. This unique texture and coloration make Pilea involucrata an excellent choice for those seeking visually interesting textures in their terrarium design. The plant is easily propagated from cuttings and is generally used as a midground plant in a terrascape. Another plant from the Pilea family is the Pilea spruciana, commonly known as the silver tree. It is native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. This plant can easily grow from cuttings and is mostly positioned as a mid-ground plant in a terrarium. Mark Gravia umbellata is a botanical treasure found in the lush rainforests of South America, mainly Puerto Rico. It is a part of a genus that includes approximately 100 species, all of which are native to tropical rainforests. The most striking feature of the plant are its leaves, which are shaped like saucers with a silvery white vein running along the middle. Mark Gravia umbellata is a climbing vine and hence it can be used as a climber on a moss wall in the background as well as on other hardscape surfaces inside a terrarium. 
The strawberry begonia, scientifically known as Saxifraga stolonifera, is actually not a true begonia, but rather a member of the Saxifraga genus. This perennial plant is native to East Asia, particularly Japan and Korea. Leaves of the plant are heart-shaped, dark green and adorned with silvery white veins. The plant produces tiny plantlet-like structures at the end of its runners, resembling strawberries, hence the name strawberry begonia. It can be propagated from runner clippings and makes a very interesting foreground or midground plant in a terrarium. Peperomia prostrata, commonly known as the string of turtles, is native to the tropical rainforests of South America. It bears small rounded leaves that are typically dark green with intricate patterns resembling the texture of a turtle's shell, hence the common name. These charming leaves are attached to slender trailing stems, creating a cascade of greenery that makes this plant a visual delight. The plant doesn't like too much water sitting on its leaves and hence it does best mounted on hardscape elements inside a terrarium. Syngonium, commonly known as the arrowhead plant, is again native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. The leaves are typically arrowhead shaped, although they can vary in size and color depending on the variety. Common leaf colors range from vibrant green to shades of pink and red. Some varieties exhibit variegation, adding to their ornamental appeal. They are mostly planted in the background or midground of a terrarium. Cryptanthus, commonly known as earth stars, hail from the tropical rainforests of Brazil. The genus Cryptanthus comprises over 50 species, each with its unique charm, but they are collectively known as earth stars due to their rosette-like appearance. These plants come in a wide array of shapes, sizes and colors, from vibrant green to shades of red, pink and even purple. Most earth stars remain relatively low to the ground and hence are mostly planted in the foreground of a terrarium. Hemigraphis rapanda is native to regions in Southeast Asia and is commonly known as the dragon's tongue. Its slender leaves vary from purple to deep pink in color depending on its environment and creates unique contrast among other plants in a terrarium. It can be used as a background plant. The aluminium plant, or Pilea cadirei, is native to Vietnam and China. The leaves are small to medium-sized, oval-shaped and adorned with silvery-gray stripes or markings that give them a shimmering appearance. It is easily propagated from cuttings and usually planted in the midground within a terrarium. English ivy is a woody perennial vine that is native to Europe and Western Asia and is relatively low demand. The plant boasts lush, dark green and sometimes variegated five-lobed leaves lending it an elegant and classic appearance. It can be grown as a mid-ground or background climbing plant in a terrarium. And that completes our list of 15 plants. I hope you have a wider selection now to choose from for your next build. Thank you and see you in the next video.